The explosion that flattened two five-storey buildings in Harlem was huge and deadly. Just 15 minutes before it happened, reports of a gas leak, but no time to investigate. I heard a huge blast, and the next thing you know, all of our windows on 116 were blown in. Fortunately, nobody was hurt, and all five people were able to leave. I was sleeping in my bed, and all of a sudden, something blew up, and the bed started shaking the floor. And I said, what is this? I thought the world was coming to an end. I heard a big explosion. Boom. I thought it was an earthquake. I thought the train derailed. I didn't know what to think. Firefighters were there within minutes, recovering the dead and the injured, but still battling the blaze. We have on the scene 250 firefighters and dozens of pieces of equipment, including heavy equipment necessary to deal with uh, the rubble from the building. The focus now is to make the site as safe as possible because there are a number of people unaccounted for and firefighters need to search through the rubble. Worried friends and family and those affected by the explosion are being looked after nearby by the Red Cross. I actually was with a young man upstairs who was able to hear from a cousin at a local hospital that he had lost track of, and so he had just such a sense of palpable relief after that. Uh, but I also spoke to some young women who ran for their lives uh, after this event, and so that is not something anyone should have to go through or is used to going through. And with streets, rail services and gas supplies all shut off, it'll be a long time before this neighborhood in the north of Manhattan returns to normal. Hannah Thomas-Peter, Sky News, Harlem, New York.